let's break this down into some more pragmatic terms because I think there's a disconnect going on. You guys are both men who are well established in your lives, handsome dudes, probably can can find female attention in traditional ways without a shitload of effort. But a 16 year old kid in high school who's being ignored like crazy. Oh shit. Yeah. It's, it's all about the market that yeah, they have access yeah. to. And you're these right. markets are, I but mean, what, but here's the thing though. Okay. So you're and right. I'm sure lead lead. I want your take on this. Okay. We talk about how like, you know, someone is being ignored, blah, blah, blah. We, you know, we've heard about incel culture in modern times, blah, blah, blah. Right. I think one of the main issues with, with all this, besides, I mean, you know how I feel about these single mother raised uh, led households. Right. I think one of the main issues, Nick, is that, you have a bunch of guys who don't pursue excellence. So they go like this. So watch this. Hey, so, so Lee, pretend I'm a 16-year-old, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, man, girls didn't give me the eye. Okay, I guess I'm just no good. Like, there's no, there's like, the, you know what I'm talking about, Nick? They, they don't like, like, they don't build themselves. Like, they aren't like. But you and I talk about this all the time. I think Lee has uh, talked about this subject a lot, too. Just yesterday, you know what I did? I felt, I, I was driving, and I felt the need to do this on my stream. For whatever reason, call it God, call it, I don't know, intuition, whatever. I got on here and I said, hey, to all the guys out there, just in case you need to hear it, you're not a piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. Because what does society tell yeah. these kids? Yeah. When they tell them, you go through a public school system, you come out at 18, what are, you're fucking garbage. <laughs> like, just by the fact that you were born a male and, and, and the fact that it's now 2022, you have all these people telling you, you must be misogynistic, you must be hateful, you're probably an incel, you're worthless, you, you have no skill in your life, and you, I know you know this, you, you worked all your fucking life, and until you were about 35 or whatever, nobody fucking cared that you did any work. And then suddenly there's this magic place where they all are like, oh, you're respectable because of your age, but it's completely arbitrary. And, and so you got these young men who are told by society constantly and everything they do, that they're garbage. How do you, how do you expect no, them no, to build themselves I, up, I, I, but find some time to do something for you? Uh, Cause you need it. Oh, I just, this was placed on my heart today. You know, I hate when people say that, uh, but, but really like I, I had a compulsion to briefly just say this to all the men out there, uh, you aren't pieces of shit. You aren't. Like, I'm not here to tell you how to be successful and uber cool and super sexy with the ladies or whatever. I am just here to say, I know like so many people are telling you or inferring to you or leading you to the conclusion that you're a piece of shit. You're not. So if you needed to hear that today, guys out there, you're not a piece of shit. Like, seriously, you're not. I bet somebody needed to hear that. Law Nerd Clips up in the house says, thank you for sharing my Haddish Spears video before YouTube confirmed they sexualized kids and deleted the video. I had to share the full unedited skit to avoid people finding it funny. Listen, I I saw the edited version. I saw part of it and I was like, Ugh, you know, this is in bad taste. But then when Law Nerds Clip put out the unedited version, did anybody see the unedited version? I was like, fuck. It was so bad. Who remembers Boyce Watkins? Y'all remember how Boyce Watkins got on the floor? He got on his back. A grown man. He got on the floor on his back at his wedding. And he was like underneath his wife. And he got on his he got on the floor on his back and he spread his legs like spread eagle. A grown man underneath his wife. His legs were spread, his legs were splayed open. Pathetic. But at least he's a man. Do you know on that Aries Suit Spears, uh, Tiffany Haddish, they had the seven-year-old boy do that. <laughs> but the seven-year-old boy, he was butt naked. All he had was like tidy whities on. They had that boy do that same thing. And they didn't film the boy from the top. When the boy had his legs spread right open, they filmed him 
going into his crotch. I didn't know that until law nerds put that damn thing. I was like, are you fucking serious? And someone made a really great point. Someone was like, this is how you know boys ain't worth shit. Because would they ever have done a seven-year-old girl like that? <laughs> Put a yes in the chat if you think they ever would have taken a seven-year-old girl and laid her on her back and spread her legs wide open for the camera to look straight down into her. I mean, that's how you know that Aerie Spears and Tiffany, they, they, they just think that, that men aren't shit. They never would have done a seven-year-old girl like that, ever. They'll do a boy like that though, right? But to be fair, like, I didn't even know they did the boy like that until Law Nerd Clips put up the unedited video. So shout out to the Law Nerd, Law Nerd Clips. That was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. But I, I do want some fairness and some recognition of both genders. It can't be that, you know, we're going to protect the girls and then make the boys get on the floor and spread eagle on their backs for money. That it can't be what we're doing, right? Under this whole protect all women bullshit. Like people need to be protected. Kids need to be protected from that shit. It shouldn't be, oh, well, we can't do this for, for, for a girl. Let's get a boy in there. Like boys' lives have value. Men's lives have value. So when a man comes up here, he's like, oh, well, let's just protect the women. It's like, Okay, what does that really mean? Shout out to Steve C. Thank you so much, Steve. Thank you. Says Rakeda fan stopping by. Best smile on the internet. Love you, Need Shout out to Steve, man. Yes. And shout out to the Nick Rakeda. The the one of the, the best to ever do it. Nick is way better than me, guys. If y'all want to see an awesome, awesome live streamer who's killing it on YouTube and Locals and Rumble and everything else, y'all go check out Nick Riccade. If one of the mods could put uh, the link to his channel in the chat. We've I'm collabed ready. a couple a couple of times. I've gone up on his channel. Just awesome, awesome brother. Uh, so, so shout out to Nick Riccade. 